What is good, guys? We are back with another ulti round speed losers bracket ulti series. Yeah, unfortunately, this is another series that I didn't catch live. I'm gonna make sure to catch the next two series that I'm still left live for you guys. I really want to record them live the blunder series and the CG my versus vertex series. So, yeah, we got Kanto versus Lioness. I actually have this team. Um, this is expert build Ladi, I think. He might have made a scarf, but I think it's expert build. Uh, this is toxic protect Lando. Um, life up Kiron, Z Wild Judge Coco, standard. Packs and Steeler, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about these two, it's like pretty obvious what they run. And yeah, this is uh, Electric Seed Necrozma, which doesn't really win in this game because Toxapex can just spam Haze versus Necrozma. Like, if Necrozma only has one combat boost and the defense boost from Electric Seed, Star Power is not gonna do too much damage at all. So, like, looking at Lioness's team, so his speed control is most likely Scarf Lando. Um, that won't mean if he's Scarf Lando, he's pretty weak to Zygarde. So the Scissor could definitely be some sort of defensive to um, switch into Bandit Zygarde. And also to check DD Zygarde. And yeah, this heat turn is most likely the Rocker. This Lando should be the Scarf, like I said. And then our packs, I'm not gonna talk about the packs. Let's get into the game. This is game one, this is the best of three. You guys know how it goes, OT. And yeah, he can go for Scald here. Because, um, one, it's pretty obvious that this is defensive Lando because of its Zygarde matchup. Like, he's way too weak to Zygarde otherwise. And two... Pex eats the Earthquake anyway. Now, it's just... Mainly because of that he knows that it's defensive Lando. Like, looking at Kanto's team, if that was Earthblade Lando, like... His, like, look at his Zygarde switch ins otherwise. It has to be defensive Lando. And yeah, it's um, Toxic Protect, like I said. So he's just gonna Skull here, um, in case the Lando tries to stay in. So he would, um, tr he can try to fish for a burn early there. But yeah, Kanto makes a better play. And goes into Pex, they exchange uh, Toxic Spikes here. Now they're gonna exchange Skulls, I assume. Now Lioness actually switches out in Heatran. Um, I don't know. Like, to be fair, he didn't have a good Skull switching at all. Um, these things, obviously, they all don't want to come in and get burned. Uh, especially these two don't want to come in because they would get poisoned from T-Spike. Uh, so I probably would have stayed in and tried to burn this pack before I would have switched out, but it's okay. Heatron can eat it up fine. Um, Lioness can go for rocks here. Oh, he goes for Wisp, okay. Wisp cancels out the Black Sludge, so that doesn't really matter. I mean, it's nice. But it's not like it beats the packs, because the burn nerf is like really huge for ones like packs. So now he gets up rocks, his trend is getting weakened. Um, I assume he's gonna pivot back into his toxic pack seed to get rid of the toxic spike. And Kanto can just keep scalding because he can try to burn this, and even if, if the trend stays in the trend, uh, it's almost dead. So he does get the burn, that's nice for Kanto. Um, I would scald again here, predicting Lioness to go into um, Tapu Coco. Because the toxic spike is so obvious. Like that he goes that he him Kanto going for T spikes is so obvious I would scald here. Nice play. Does he get the burn? If he gets the burn there and this is physical Coco, um it's quite funny, but Toxic Spikes actually wards Coco if it gets the burn. But yeah, I assume Lion is um it's gonna go for U turn here. And Kanto's just gonna go Lando. If this is special and he goes for like some special attacking move, Lando's gonna get blown away by like dazzling gleam HPIs. But I assume he just U turns out here. And he gets a crit that's 12. I assume that is um, max attack damage. I haven't run the Kalk. Um, so Lionus goes on his Landers. I assume this Landers is a Scarf. And I don't really think know what this can do to the opposing Lando. But yeah, Kanto can just go for Protect and Scout. Like I said, I have this team in my builder, so I know it's Protect. And yeah, I don't know, Lyonis uh, doesn't win this one-on-one -on -one because Kanto can just go for Toxic, he always gets lefties back, he can then go for Protect. Um, I mean, Kanto gets up his rock first, I thought he went for Toxic, but if one for Toxic first, okay. But like, you guys can see Stone Edge doesn't do much, he also will run out of Stone Edge before he can kill this. And uh, Kanto can now throw up a Toxic, I wouldn't stay in here if I'm Lyonis, but he's staying in. At least he's fishing for a crit or something. He's just trying to chip down the Landris. So I can see him switching the scissor or into his um yeah yeah scissor makes more sense mm -hmm. the most sense. Kanto goes on the packs to absorb the teeth bike. Um I would always scald here again just in case Lioness tries to go on a Tapu Coco on a predicted toxic spike and if you scald burn him this Tapu Coco is useless. So he does make that play and he doesn't get the burn. So I, I would go for Roost here. As he's probably gonna back to Lando. Well, he goes into his own Coco. His own Coco is actually, um, I think the wild shots actually does around 80 or 90%. So 
So there was obviously no way he was going for the wall charge, but I'm just saying if he went for the wall charge, this might have gotten blown away. Um, yeah, so I assume that Kanto goes for G turn here. He does go for Roost, not sure if he anticipated Lioness to just go for Wild Charge and he wanted to keep this healthy. Um, I guess Roost is fine if he goes into Landris. Um, like if you go for Wild Charge it's the same thing, but if you go for Roost, uh, you keep this healthy, you basically get rid of the damage that, damage that you took from rocks. So uh, Kanto knows there's a Scarf, he should just switch out into Celesteela or into his uh, Lando, exactly. I would have gone Celesteela mo most likely, but yeah, this is still a fine play. Yuten doesn't do much, uh, he gets lefties back, he has protect to get more lefties back next round. Um, Scissor has to be defensive defog on his team with Roots and Bullet Punch, and the last move is either Yuten or maybe it's some other move? I'm not sure yet. It is Hidden Power Eyes, wow. Okay, okay. So Hidden Power Eyes defends Scissor for Zygarde and also hits Lando. Like, it also checks um, offensive Sky Strike Lando if it's um, at a healthy amount. So like Leonis doesn't really have anything to do here versus the pack since he doesn't have U-turn. So I would just go for Roost here, but he goes for him power again. Um, so yeah, if I was Kanto, I would always keep spamming Scald, keep spamming Scald, because you want to try to catch the Tapu Koko on the come in. If you burn the Tapu Koko, then the Toxapex walls it. And he's playing it correct, like keep spamming Scald, my man. Um, because he's going to think you're going to go for Teeth Spikes and he's going to try to get his Koko in. Um, Kobuko coming in is like not the end of the world, but it's annoying for Kanto because the Lando is quite low and Kyurem has to take rocks if it comes in. So I would just keep swimming Skull if I'm Kanto. I completely agree with how he is playing this. As does he catch him? Does he catch him? The Coco is there. Does he go for Skull again? He does go for Skull again and does he get the burn? So he does get the burn. So this means uh, Toxabex now was the top of Coco. And it's just Toxabex being stupid. And he can actually stay in. <laughs> he can go for a Toxic Spike here. And the Crossma comes in, so Leonis is like, okay, I cannot break his team. Let me go into Crossma and, okay, he scores again. Let me hope that he doesn't have Haze, and let me set up a Calm Mind here. And this is Calm Mind's Door Power Moonlight. I don't know the last move slot. We shall see soon. So Kanto should just spam Haze here. Does make the correct play. Um, now Kanto can go for a Toxic Spike. He already got rid of the defense boost that Necrozma got from Electric Seed. And yeah, I don't see how Lioness can win this game at all. The burn also is uh, really annoying for him. Toxapex wins this one on one, but these two months are just not doing too much damage to each other. So this will take forever if both players stay in here. So I can see Kanto switching out eventually. Maybe into. Um, you can switch out into something that is in the air, like either the Celestia or the Ladi. Something that doesn't get poisoned, and then he can pivot back into Toxic Bex to get rid of the Toxic Spike. So he does just make the play into Ladi. There's a Charge Beam, that's a funny set. A Charge Beam to um, raise the special attack as well. Or to do damage to like... Um, what is that even for? I guess it's for Greninja, because a Star Power, you would get walled by Greninja if you had Star Power only. So I can't understand that. So he pivots back into Toxic Bex, absorbs the Toxic Spike. Um, now he can go hard on the top of Coco, or he can um, just fire off Skulls, but firing off Skulls would just make the battle super long, so I hope he doesn't decide to do that. He goes hard on the Coco, Charge Beam does pitiful damage, and he can just go for U-turn here. Like, he doesn't lose anything at all. He could also go for Taunt. Um, this Lando is Poison, so... Oh, he goes for him Power Ice. Okay, calm down, buddy, there. Um... He showed Hidden Power Ice, I think he showed Roost earlier, and I think U-Turn and Wild Charge are the other moves. So he probably doesn't have Taunt then. Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, I think he doesn't have Taunt. Maybe I got something wrong here. I think he doesn't have Taunt. So goes Scissor here, and... Kanto doesn't have to risk anything, he can just go in this Toxapex here. He can also go for Z-Wild Charge, but I'm not sure if that kills... Oh, no, no, no. He was at minus one, so Z-Wild Charge wouldn't kill. So yeah, switching out into Pex or Celestia both work. I thought he would have gone into Pex, but yeah, this is fine. Um, I assume this is Scissor is gonna go for a Roost. Oh, he goes for a Bullet Punch, okay. I don't know why he didn't Roost. Like, he wasn't minus one, I don't think he was gonna stay in there. So he's obviously gonna switch into Pex here, I assume. He goes into Tren. If he leeches, his Tren is almost dead. I would've gone to Pex there, most likely. But to be honest, um, this is a tough matchup for Leonis, and I don't think he can win this at all. Uh, Curem also destroys him if it comes in on, like, the... If it's HP Fire. Um, I think it's actually HP Fire. I have the team in my builder, like I said, yeah. If I recall correctly, it is HP Fire. So yeah, Kanto can go for a Toxic Spike here. 
but he decides to um yeah he decides to go like the more offensive route and go to coco on the cross mine every time i'm actually a big fan of that play um but toxic spike was free there so he could have gone for that as well um yeah actually actually what am i saying the, the reason why he didn't go for toxic spikes is um i messed up there in my narration guys but i realized it immediately come the guard so the reason why he didn't go for toxic spikes is the coco is already burned so it can't get poisoned the chrosma is already burned so it can't get poisoned and the other three months don't get affected by toxic spikes so yeah i actually messed up there for a second but i find i realized that really quick um yeah i would go for roots there if i'm canto you can also just go for the z move and get a kill as well yeah that's obviously a fine play but yeah he could have also gone for roost um this was just I feel like Candle Blade is really nice, but he also had a good matchup. And yeah, now Linus goes for his Z move. It's going to like 35, maybe, maybe 40. 39, okay. Candle can roost here. Okay, he U turns. I would have roosted there, but it's completely fine. He can go into his um, Lando. And he can just click off quick here. Lion has lost his um, ground switch in. Like, he can just off quick and either get a kill or weaken something. Like, I assume he's gonna go no Crosma, but. Okay, sex the turn. And the game is just over. I mean, if he goes in the cross, my kind of just goes back into Toxapex and Hazes. If he goes into. Like, he can Moonlight here, but, like, it's not that it matters. Just go. Okay, he's gonna Leech Cheat at first. I personally would have gone hard uh, Pex and probably Haze them, but this is completely fine. So he goes for Charge Beam there, and that doesn't do too much. He can Leech Cheat here. As long as he doesn't miss, he's completely fine. Um, now you can go to Toxapex. Uh, Linus is forced to go for Moonlight here, so you can go Toxapex and Haze. Oh, he's just gonna ha heavy slam? Question mark. Oh, he's Substellus Dealer. Oh wow. Okay, so I don't have the exact import. Then his version is Substellus Dealer. So he actually stalls this out as fire. So he can heavy slam here. A Crossma is forced to heal quite often, and it only has a few Moonlights left. Um, it loses 6% from burn and also loses health from leech sheet. And Celestia is always get oh, stays healthy, so we can just heavy slam again here in the moonlight. I'm kinda tempted to um, speed this up a bit. Because I know there's some snake games soon that I don't want to miss. I want to record some games for you guys live. Because I know you like live games more than replays. And yeah, he just forfeits. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna pause it real quick and uh, be right back with uh, game 2. We are back with game 2 and Lyonis decided to bring Mega Steelix Stall. Kanto brought some rain here. Not sure if there's a spec spell up yet. Uh, it could still be damn Brock. Uh, we have seen a team like this before where it was specs. This is Lead Sash Drill with Toxic and Rocks. So he's just gonna go for Rocks here. Um, so the defog is quite obvious here. So you can go for Toxic predicting that. And uh, now he's forced out and he's gonna go into either the Pelipper or the Greninja. They both can take will o -Wisp when off power. Like, they don't really care about those moves. I mean, Greninja would kind of care about off power, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. I'm not really sure what he predicted by um, going to Zapdos here. This is just a free switch into the Swampert, unless this has Toxic. But uh, it's, most of the time, they carry Discharge, him Power Ice, Defog, Roost. This one actually has um, Heat Wave, because um, he has a fast Mew with Ice Beam to check land with. So that makes sense. So Swampert is in. Swampert is a decently... Um, Threatening Monto Lioness, especially if Rain goes up later on, and if it has Aqua Tail, it's gonna um, pressure the Cleft, Chansey, Zapdos, they all get blown away, and Pex gets blown away by Earthquake. So I can see Lioness uh, later has to potentially predict and go Pex on Aqua Tail to start out some Rain turns, but yeah. Um, this doesn't work out that well for Lioness because Clef on Stall runs Wish instead of Softball because it's unaware. And Moonlight is unreliable recovery and Wish is also nice to pass to, pass to team members. The reason why this doesn't work out that well is um, now he's gonna have to switch out to keep Rocks off and his Clefab is not at full and Swampert um, is more threatening because yeah, Clef is not at full so he cannot switch in. You guys get what I'm trying to say. So he's gonna force, be forced to defog here. Um, a, a really good play would be um, going for rocks again, predicting the defog. Because the toxic would rack up over time, but he just goes for earthquake. And yeah, Kanto's probably gonna switch back into, uh, yeah, into Pelipper here, I assume, to get up the rain. I don't know if Linus predicted that, but that was a fire play if he did. And he just go for heal bell, get rid of the poison on the Mew. He just U turns out. So it's, that was, um, if. If that Pelipper had knock off the tech, that would have been really bad for Lioness, but it doesn't have. So yeah, rocks go back up, Seismic Toss does some new, nice damage to the drill. And I don't know if, like, Lioness is a genius or something, but he goes on a Toxapex, on a Toxic, 
Um, now, he, is, he seems to be fast enough talks the back because he takes the earthquake with ease. He gets rid of the axe control. So this means if he ever gets up a default now, the rocks are gone. And Leonis is fine because rocks are obviously annoying for stall. Um, I would probably go for Aquatel here because the switch is quite obvious. But I guess you can say it's kind of a 50-50. But if he goes for Aquatel there, he would have probably gotten the kill. I mean, Aquatel probably still blows this away. If this is speedy zap, this it still gets blown out the window. But he dodges. That sucks a lot. If he was defensive, he uh, lived that. But if he was offensive, he wouldn't have gotten blown out the window. Um, I think he's defensive because he has a fast ice beam to check land already. So he goes in the packs, and now the um, the rain is gone, so he can pivot back. Oh, he sa he goes in the Mew. So I guess he's willing to sack his Mew. I thought he would go and uh, try to go into like Zapdos and try to predict the earthquake, but if he predicted that and went for Aquatel, and Zapdos would have gone destroyed. And to be honest, he doesn't need the Mew because the Mew gets pretty much beaten by almost everything. Um, like a Mew can do some things; it can like fire off some willowers, but he doesn't need the Mew to win at all. So he goes back into packs, he knows this can live an earthquake, and he just wants more chip. And he's especially trying to get the burn this, uh, Pert. But like I said, Pert is like the biggest threat to his team. So like if he gets the burn on this... Oh yeah, the toxic, the toxic. Yeah, that, 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 was that makes a lot of sense, yeah. So um, now he has the, his, the biggest threat on his team now is on the timer. He can now switch around. And yeah, the Pert is eventually gonna die. I feel like he's gonna go um, into... Chansey. Chansey can wall this, right? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, he goes into Chansey. So he can just go for Astos here. I don't think anything is poisoned at the moment, so there's no point in going for a heal ball. And yeah, he gets... Oh yeah, he gets his rocks up. I feel like... Huh. I mean, the rocks is obviously fine. Um, rocks to pressure the pillar is fine. But yeah, now he's just gonna spam soft boiled. Yeah, I messed up a little bit there, but it's fine. Uh, now he's just gonna spam softball. The, when the rain ends, then the Chansey completely walls. That Echo that actually didn't do that much. Good God, Chansey's fat. It's so obviously makes defense, makes HP Chansey. Um, the bold nature one. Um, so Zapdos is free here. He's gonna SD up. If this is Z Night Slash, I think it is Z Night Slash on his team, then the Zapdos just dies. If it's the. Especially if it's a speedy Zapdos. If it's a, a max death Zap, like this defensive Zapdos, it uh, might have a chance to live, but yeah, it just gets blown out the window. But at this point, this doesn't have Smart Strike most likely, so um, Kanto has to fish for crits here. So he's gonna wish, he's gonna protect. But yeah, I feel like Leonis uh, kind of knows this team because it was used before. Kanto, I think, changed it up a little bit, but he didn't change up the Katana. Pretty sure this Katana doesn't... Like it is um, SD, Night Slash with Z-Move, Leaf Blade, and I think the last move is Sacred Sword. So you don't get completely walled by... Whatchamacallit. I'm not really sure, actually, as to why the last move has to be Sacred Sword. Because uh, Sacred Sword doesn't do that much more to mons like Celesteela compared to Night Sledge. Like, you don't really break those mons. So, like, Kanto just has to hope that he gets a crit. Uh, he can take one Moonblast, so now the Clef is in crit range. I would probably go for Protect here to get some lefties, but he doesn't. Crit that would have killed. Um, actually, yeah, Moonblast again is a, fi is a fine play. Because if you wish again, then you have to Protect, and then you still have to risk getting crit. And the Katana... Was like the last threat. Like if Katana killed that cleft, then it just won at that point. Um, so what's really important for Lan is to get rid of the Katana. And yeah, now the last threat that is purged is already in a timer because it's poisoned, and the other three members all get walled by Chansey. So Lioness should have this game wrapped up. I mean, Chansey even kind of walls the purge. Like in rain, it doesn't really wall it, but if rain ever if rain ends, Chansey just walls everything. So he goes for protect, he can just switch into chance, he preserved this as four or something like that. So Kanto's trying to get a burn here. Scald, 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 Seismic Toss, Scald, gets a burn, they both heal. Hurricane trying to get a confusion or something going, goes for heal, goes for toss. So he's basically stalling out the rain. U turns into what? He doesn't have anything that threatens the chance. I guess he's gonna try to get up a spike? Like, unless this is like Z Loki Greninja. Um, which that's on, that's only on protein, and on this type of rain team, most of the time they always run uh, like Ash Grant. So yeah, I mean he gets up all the spikes, but doesn't matter. This chance he does not. This chance he kind of never has to switch out because it was everything and just clicks seismic toss. 
And Seismic also has like 32 PP. Like I know he used some already, but like he has still like has a 20 plus Seismic Toss left. Um, yeah, like this is just over. I mean, he can roost to like stall out Seismic Toss, kinda. So it sucks in that sense for Lioness that he doesn't have Toxic. Um, wait, how did he Toxic? Oh yeah, he Toxic the Swampert with a, with a Toxapex. I see, I see. Yeah, so this is just Seismic Toss, Roost Spam and Hurricane Spam. So like he's trying to stall out. Uh, so I can see what Kando is doing. Makes him switch there. There's like Chansey doesn't just win because Pelipper had Roost. And since Chansey didn't have Toxic, it couldn't force out the Pelipper. Otherwise Chansey would have just won. But yeah, Pearl doesn't even kill this with Earthquake. But he just sacks off the cleft, that's a completely fine play. Now he's gonna go on a chance and click softball, I assume. Yup. And Pearl only took more damage because he came in on rocks and took poison, etc. Let's see, hopefully this is not gonna be... Since he's staying in swimming as toss again, okay, thankfully it's not. How he can on the pack, so he can go for a confusion here. Doesn't get it, there's the recover, there's the U-turn. Number Jona. Oh, he scored. He scored and killed the Pert, and then, um, then he went to Majorna after. This is T-Bot Majorna. I think this is uh, maybe this team. This is Sugarberry, I assume, because yeah, yeah, he always showed his team of exactly Sugarberry, and yeah, this game is over because yeah, the combination of Chansey and Pax pretty much wins. Earlier I said Chansey wins. I should have said Chansey plus Pax wins. My bad, but yeah. He's just gonna toxic this and then it's over. And he forfeits. And yeah, I'll pause it real quick and see you guys with game three. It's one 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 now it's what am I trying? Why why can I not talk? It's one one now between Kanto and Lioness, so the next game is gonna decide who um stays in all T. Here we are with the deciding game between Kanto and Lioness. So the Kanto brings the same team that he brought in game one, so we already know all the sets. Curum is a huge problem for Lioness. Um, it has HP fire to bob those two months, it has fusion bolt to bob those months, ice beam to bob this. And yeah, I assume this is Ash Grant, this is Specs Pelipper, this is potential Scarf Lando, but the Ferrothorn has to be like 5th death then, because otherwise he's a bit weak to Zygarde. Let's get right into it, at least with Kyurem. So if he's a Scarf, he's gonna U-turn out here, and if he's not Scarf, he's gonna hard switch. And if Kanto predicts correct, he just gets a kill here, fusion bolt bobs this, ice beam bobs this, and HP fire bobs these. Like, <laughs> it's just how stupid Kieran Black is. So let's see if he gets the prediction correct. There's the Scizor. He goes hard for Hidden Power Fire. Scizor dies turn 1. And Kanto is already in an amazing position. Um, Scizor doesn't, didn't really do much uh, versus Kanto. Because, like, he had Pax. He had Steeler. But those, uh, Scizor, you turning on those two would let the Coco in. And if his Lando gets weakened, the Coco can become a problem, so it's uh, nice for Kanto to get rid of the Scissor early. Doesn't have to worry about that. So Lando goes back into Lando. I assume Stone Edge kills from here, so Kanto is going to switch out into either the uh, Lando or the Saddle Stealer here. Let's go under the Landers here. There's a U turn. Um, nice play from Lando's part, knowing that he wouldn't stay in. So he's going to get up his rocks here, I assume, with the Ferrothorn. I'm actually not sure if this is double hazard Ferrothorn, but it's probably it's probably Defox Scizor and just rocks. He probably doesn't have spikes on his team, to be quite honest with you. Um, so you can go for Toxic Spikes here, or you can just fish for Skull Burn. He goes into Good Ninja, so I'm quite curious if this is... Usually on this type of team with like Pelipper, it's always Ash Grin. Um, but it's, if it's Extra Sensory Protein, that could be nice for Leonis. Um I feel like... Is Kanto gonna go for recover the scout the set, or is he just gonna scout and try to get the burn? So he goes for spikes. He just goes for recover the scout. I agree with that play. Mm. So he thinks Kanto probably thinks that this is locked into spikes. Mm -mm -mm. I don't understand 100% why he went to under Celestia. Let me try to understand. So he had a Toxapex in. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why he body predicted by going Celesteela. But yeah, he plays this as if it's choice. We don't know yet if it's choice or Z-move. He does change that moves. So he's most likely Z-move. I mean, it could also be like Splash Plate, but I assume it's Z-move Grin. 
He does break the Celestealer's sub. Oh, okay, I see why he went in Celestealer. He, he, he wanted to get a free substitute because he thought that Greninja was locked into spikes. Okay, I see. But yeah, that didn't work out, but it's still fine. I mean, it still worked out because the Celestealer is still healthy. And yeah, I mean, now he has some spikes on his side, but it's not the, not the end of the world. He can show the defog later with his Ladi. Um, Linus is gonna switch out here into Pelipper, I assume. He goes hard Coco. I, I mean, I get the play. You don't want to take rocks on the Pelly and you want to threaten this with a Coco. But now you take 62 plus rocks plus toxic spikes and your Coco is almost dead. And if he predicts you to roost here and goes for heavy slam again, your Coco is pretty much dead. Good lord, Cantle on fire. I mean, I completely understand Cantle's play, but like. That was a fire play, good god. Um, it's looking pretty over here. He goes on the Pelipper. Uh, Kanto's probably gonna go on the Pex to scout. If he goes for Specs Hurricane here, it's gonna do a lot. He goes for Specs Hurricane, gets a crit, and the Pex dies. They probably would've done around 50-ish, maybe 54. Depending on Toxic Pex spread, maybe he would've only done 46. Um, yeah, so Kanto can defog here. He just goes for Drago. I thought he would go for defog. Because, like, the Toxic Spike on the other side... I don't really know if he needs them, because they only hit the Grin. So he goes hard in the Q room here. Um, so he probably um, wants to just roost up on the Feral Thorn, and then the rain, when the rain ends, he threatens this with HP Fire. I assume we're gonna see, like, a lead Sheet come out here. He does go for Heart Knockoff. Does get rid of the Q room. Okay, so he was trying to knock off um, the Celestia's leftovers. And yeah, the Q, I don't think that crit mattered because at 23. I'm not gonna calc it, I don't think it mattered on the Q. Room. So that was a fine play, I thought he would leech it, but knockoff is obviously a fine play. So yeah, Celestia can go for sub. It's actually a really cool set because um, Celestia, I think, outspeeds Ferrothon because they all run minus. They are super slow, right? So Ferrothon cannot leech you and you can sub up. And like the, usually Ferrothon will be forced out by Celestia anyway. But since he had rain up, he technically could have stayed in and unleashed shield. If he didn't know already that Kanto had sub, then he could have stayed in and unleashed shield. But yeah, you have to go Pelipper and break the sub with a skull. There's a free leash shield for Kanto. And yeah, Celestia just stays pretty healthy. And if he doesn't get burned here, he can even stay in and solo, but he doesn't risk it. Uh, I, that's a fine play. Not risk yeah, not risking is actually good. Like, it's smart. Larry uh, has leech shield to help. Um, not take too much from hazards. Like, it only takes rocks, and he has HP fire on his Ladi as well. So this is the expert build Ladi. I was talking about this earlier in game one, that this expert build HP fire, right? I think I talked about it. And yeah. You can just... If Draco kills from here, I feel like he doesn't have to risk it. I feel like... Hmm. He can just go for HP fire again. So Lionus goes into Landris. He just goes for HP fire again. He's gonna U-turn out here, so kills the Ladi. And Pelipper is almost dead now, so this gives uh, Kanto a switch into Coco here. And you can just click Wild Charge. Damn, Kanto is just unstoppable. I was like, he can just click Wild Charge, but he's like, nah, 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 I don't want to take, I don't want to take Iron Bars. Let me go for that Hidden Power. Covers the Landorus. I mean, it makes sense. Um, because the lander is a scarf, so like Leon is, is in the back already, so he kinda had to try and go into the lander there on a wild charge. Or oh, he was gonna go into his Ferrothon, like he probably wasn't gonna. I mean, Pelipper dies to rocks. So, like, I thought he would just stay in. But yeah, Hidden Power obviously killed from 2%. Um, yeah, that was. Yeah, that was the best. That was a fine play. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was a fire play. And Scarf Lander forces this out. You can just go into Celestia here. Oh my god, no, this guy is on fire. Okay, so... Um, I feel like... So what Kanto was thinking here was... If he kills me with Earthquake, then I go into Celestila and I get a free substitute and my Celestila wins from there. So I completely understand why he stayed in. I mean, it looks like he's a complete god, but it made, it made, like his play makes complete sense. Because, yeah, like I said, if you Earthquake, he's locked into Earthquake. So free sub for Celestila. This dies to rocks and uh, the Gren is... Poisoned and Gren also doesn't beat the Steeler. And the rain is also gonna run out, so then the. Yeah, like. And now he. Ro <laughs> he roosted, okay. So, I think Linus is now gonna go for Earthquake. 
Okay, now he... Okay, he's, I mean, I understand that Lioness, like, keeps... To be honest, like, Lioness didn't have an out at this point. He lost no matter what he did. Like, he tried to, like, use her and try to catch him on the Celesteela. I guess he had to make that play. But even if he got him on the Celesteela, um, Canticuff's, like, still... Huh. Yeah, actually, that would have been... That would have been potentially, um... Risky, or, like, that would have... I don't want to say choke, but I think staying with Coco is the correct play. Like I said, you get a free sub with your Coco, um, with your Celestila, if he kills your Coco with Earthquake. But if you go Steela and he U-turns, and Greninja gets his Ash form, um, with his Z-Hydro Vortex or whatever, then you can potentially lose to the Greninja. So I actually like a lot how he played this. You can protect here with his Landris to get more chip on this. So he, he U-turned there, okay. Um, but yeah, this is... Gonna die in two turns to poison. So even if it gets its ash form, it doesn't matter. He can sack the Coco, he can go back to Lando and protect. And if he switches out, he dies to rocks. And yeah, that miss didn't matter. The game was over at that point. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Kanto wins the series 2-1. and one. Congrats to Kanto. Uh, he moves on to ulti round 4, loses bracket. And yeah, sad my man. Like I don't, I don't know why I said my man. I think I recorded with him some SPL games um, where I recorded with Advanced Ship. And so Advanced Ship, I think, invited him or something like that to the call. So that's the only reason why I know him. I think I, I still know him from some German chat. I think, but yeah, I don't I haven't talked to him really that much. So I don't know why I said my man. But yeah, he's German, so I was rooting for him. But I also kind of know Kanto a bit, so I'm completely fine with Kanto advancing. And yeah. The pretty much there's only two series left. I'm gonna try and make sure to catch them live. We shall see if I'm if I'm gonna be able to. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content. Goodbye.